review of our place value addition. This problem is not stacked. That doesn't mean this is how you have to solve it. On your desk, please stack this equation. It is 398 plus 297. Then draw our arrows and go ahead and expand this equation out. Someone help me expand 398. How do I expand that? Put that into <laughs> expanded form. Bria? Um, awesome. 300 plus 90 plus 8. How do I expand 297? Thomas? <laughs> Yes, notice I kept my place values in line. My hundreds are over my hundreds. My tens are over my tens. My ones are over my ones. I need to start with my smallest unit, my ones. What is 8 plus 7? 7 plus 1. William? 15. 15. Can I push 15 down in my ones spot? No. What do I need to do? How was that made? What do I need to do? Lainey? Make a trade. Make a trade for what? what? A 10. So I'm going to put a 10 over here. Did I have any left over? How yeah. much? Five. Five. My total number was 15. I gave my 10 over to my 10s column, but my 5 is left over. Set up my 10s now. How many tens do I have? Mason, how many tens do I have? Um, 100. I have more than 100. Oh, yes. 190. I have 190. Can I squish 190 in my tens column? No. no. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Dorian? Trade. Trade for what? 100. 100. Here's my 100. What do I have left over? Is there anything left over, or did all of my trade go to my hundreds? Willie Murray? 90. 90 is left over. I had 190. I traded out 100. Now let's add up my hundreds. Ashlyn? It's 600. 600. Put this number back in standard form. Put that number back in standard form. Grayson? 695. 695. All right. Erase your space. Erase your space. All right. Our next problem is a word problem, which means I need an answer set it, a bar model, and then the math. Go ahead and get started. All right, most of you are beyond the answer sentence. You should have something, not exactly, but you should have something like Miss Dean has blank books. We know we are counting books. Here's your question sentence. When you flip it, you get an answer sentence. Most of you have already drawn your bar. You start with our whole or our total. Do you know the total number of books? No. Do I know the total number of books Miss Dean has? No. No, I know she has more than me, but I don't know the total yet. That's a question mark. But I know some things. What do I know? Lily? What are my parts? I know Ms. Miller has 342, and Ms. Dean has 124 more books than that. What equation can I make with that? Aiden, what equation can I make with that? 342. Oh, 342. Look at my bar model. What's going to be my equation? 
Perfect. This is classic part, part, whole. We know our two parts. We're going to add them together to figure out our whole. Continue on. All right, if you're still working on expanded form, we should have our equation stacked, lining up our place values. Can I have your attention, please? All right, here's our expanded form set up to go through two ones plus four ones gives us six ones, 40 tens, or four tens, 40 plus 20 gives me 60, six tens, 100 plus 300 gives me 400. Give me a me too signal if you got this answer. Very good. Ooh, here's our next one. It says K equals 294 plus 418. Put this equation at the top of your desk. And then I want you to split your desk in half like this vertically. I want one side expanded form, and I want the other side to make a multiple of n. It will still equal the same answer, but these are two different strategies. Alright, to do expanded form, we know we need to stack it and then expand it. That's no different than what we've been doing. Start with our smallest unit, our one. Eight plus four. What is eight plus four? Eight plus four. Twelve. William. Twelve. Can I smush twelve into my ones column? No. What do I need no. to do? Make a tray. Make a tray for what? A ten. A ten. Do I have anything left over? Oh wait. No. Think about it. What's eight plus four? Twelve. Twelve. And I put ten over here. Do I have anything left over? No. What do I have left over? Nope. You had 12, William. You gave away 10. What's left? Two. Good. Now let's add up my hundreds. 10 plus 90 plus 10. What is that? 10 plus 90 plus 10. Thomas? Nope. 10 plus 90 plus 10. Kyla, do you know? 10 plus 90 plus 10? You don't even have expanded form written on your desk. Get busy. Your desk should look like my board. Lily? 110. 110. Good. Can I squish 110 in my 10s? What do I need to do? Very good. Is there anything left over, Lily? 10. Awesome. Add up my hundreds. 100 plus 200 plus 400. Lily Marie, what's my hundreds? 4, 5, 6. Try that one more time. Add again. Seven hundred. There you go. <laughs> Gia, what's this number back in standard form? Uh, Seven hundred and twelve. Mm. That's going to be my answer. If you do not feel comfortable yet with your make a ten, do this one with me. 
If you don't feel comfortable doing it by yourself, please do it with me. 294. I'm going to do it in a different color, actually. Nick, go to Miss Heisman. 294. Plus 418. Which number would we like to make a friendly number? Thomas? Four hundred eighteen. Awesome. What is four hundred eighteen's next closest friendly number? Because four hundred eighteen is really hard for me to add in my brain. Kylie, you want to help him out? No. It's going to be four hundred and twenty. There we go. All right. What is my difference between my friendly number and what number I'm actually at? What's that difference? Go ahead, Kylie. Two. Two. That's my first break apart number. If part of 294 is two, what's my other part? <laughs> The answer is not looking at me. If you start at the whole and you back up two, you'll get your other part, Mason. 292. Beautiful. 292. Now I have all my parts. I can make my 10. 418 plus 2 is what, Aiden? 418 plus 2. No, I don't need help doing that. 418 plus 2. 420. Plus my leftover. 292 equals. Hmm. 2 plus 0. 2. 9 plus 2. 11. Are you pushing 11? No. No. I'm going to put my extra one over there. I have 110 left over. 400 plus 200 plus 100. I know I'm right because this matches what I got the first time. Question. Question. Caps on markers. 